we don't live our life as if he's dying because he's not he's living he's still here with us Back in the fall of 2009, the AJC produced a series of stories that inspired an incredible amount of feedback from our readers. It was then we met Jeremy Williams, the football coach at Tiny Greenville High School, located about 60 miles southwest of Atlanta. His story included a small measure of on-field drama. The Patriots were in the midst of an unbeaten regular season. But more gripping by far was the fact that they were winning all those games while their coach was dealing with the degenerative neuromuscular condition known as Lou Gehrig's disease. There is no cure. It is ultimately fatal. At that time, Jeremy depended upon a golf cart to carry him from locker room to field. He often needed his assistance to fill in for him when his voice was too weak to get his message across to his players. But more than all that, Jeremy and his family leaned on faith to see him through. The years passed as they tend to do. It was time for an update on the good fight waged by the Williams family. The makeup of that family has not changed. There's Jennifer, the woman Jeremy met while in high school in Columbus. Their daughter Josie is now 11, still the smart, shy girl who tends to take a step back whenever the family chooses to tell its story in public. And son Jacob, irrepressible Jacob, he's nine, wheeling in circles around his family now, chattering away, insatiably curious. He was born with spina bifida, the family's first trial, and is paralyzed from the waist down. Much had changed with Jeremy physically since 2009. His body had largely succumbed to the erosive effects of ALS. He retained some slight stiff movement of his head and his right side. And many of those with Gehrig's disease choose to accept death when they lose the ability to breathe on their own. Jeremy chose to fight on, going on to a ventilator in early 2011. He was utterly dependent upon his family to meet all his physical needs. He was fortunate to have so much family living nearby and it had responded like a well-coached team in order to care for him every minute of every day. We, we've been very blessed in the amount of support that we've had. It is definitely a team effort to handle everything that's involved in our household, taking care of two members of the family that have disabilities. There's a lot that goes into daily care and daily maintenance. There's a lot of doctor's appointments. There's a lot of paperwork that has to be done. There's a lot of ordering of equipment that has to be done. So we've kind of started splitting up a lot of the chores because it, 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 it is a lot. So, um, so our, our uh, family, our community are just invaluable. If anything, from where we left them in 2009, Williams has seemed even more determined to live their lives as examples of the power of belief. As they held throughout their journey with this disease, the only cure was faith. I look at the blessing that he's still here with us. We're still um, getting to en enjoy him. And, um, and just we've definitely tried to con continue living. We don't, we don't live our life as if he's dying because he's not. He's living. He's still here with us. Every little moment is just that much more special.